Did someone say tech news? Riley, Jack, did someone say tech news? I don't think, no, no, no one. Jack, did you? Mm, uh, no. No one said tech news, but we have it right now, so. Facebook is having their F8 conference right now and they've announced some VR related things since, you know, they own Oculus. Firstly, they've announced Facebook Spaces, which Zuckerberg talked about last year, but it's now launched as a beta. It's a social VR space to be used with Oculus Rift in touch. With Spaces, you can connect your Facebook account with the Oculus ecosystem where you can communicate by voice and avatar body language, which could be a bit more exciting than chat messages. When logged on to Facebook, up to four friends can join a space and chat, draw, watch 360 videos, make video calls on Messenger, and take VR selfies of their avatars. Facebook wants to eventually make this available on all VR platforms. Facebook has owned Oculus since 2014, before VR was as popular as it is now. Uh, I guess with Spaces, we'll see if VR can become more mainstream or if it will just freak people out more. Okay, a few more Facebook things. Last year, Facebook announced a 360-degree camera called Surround360 360 that captures 3D footage and renders it online. While well, they've announced two more 360-degree cameras, the X24, which has 24 cameras on it, and the X6 with six cameras. That makes sense. They shoot in six degrees of freedom, making the 360 footage especially sexy this time. With normal 360 fixed cameras, you can't get an accurate feel for your surroundings in VR when you move your head around. But with these Facebook cameras, you can move your head around and the VR environment will respond far more accurately since each pixel has 3D depth. But these cameras aren't for sale to the public. Instead, they are trying to partner with post-production companies like Adobe to open up more opportunities in editing 360-degree 3D content. Lastly, at Facebook's consumer hardware lab, known as Building 8, the team has been working on a computer brain interface that could allow you to communicate with your phone or computer by using the power of your mind. A video at the conference showed a woman in a Stanford lab typing eight words per minute just by using her brain. They plan to have a system in a few years that could demonstrate typing at a hundred words per minute. Building 8 has also been working on a way to listen to speech through your skin. With the help of a connected armband, a person receives actuators and sensors based around words. Regina Dugan, head of Building 8, said this could remove language barriers. You could think in Mandarin, but feel in Spanish. And that is an experience I've personally been very curious about. But okay, before the shorter stories, let's talk about one non-Facebook thing just to mix it up a bit. The Xiaomi Mi 6, a phone that you can only get in China. And even though the design is pretty lame and still just copies Apple, it has six specs. It gets the new Snapdragon 835 processor, six gigabytes of RAM, two more than the S8, 64 gigabytes of storage, and a 3,350 milliamp hour battery, more than the S8, but obviously Samsung was staying safe with that particular decision. The display is only 5.15 inches in 1080p. It also has a 12 megapixel dual camera setup on the back and is only $420 American, but you can't buy it in America or anywhere else besides China when it launches April 28th. But it sounds like a good phone though. So, so that's good. It's time for a shorter news story said more quickly than the others. Instagram now has an offline mode where you can like, comment, follow, and unfollow people even when you don't have a web connection. It's only available on Android for the moment. StarCraft's HD remaster will be coming out soon, so Blizzard has made the original StarCraft and Brood War expansion free for download. According to the latest rumors, the Galaxy Note 8 will have a dual camera system with three times optical zoom and optical image stabilization on both lenses. A dude with an XFX RX 480 flashed his card with a BIOS from a Sapphire RX 580 limited edition effectively giving him the performance of an RX 580. His card has a dual bio setup, giving him a bit of safety if anything went wrong, as well as giving him the chance to go back and forth from RX 480 to 580 performance. Apparently it worked out okay for him, so if you have an RX 480, you could attempt to do this, but there's no guarantee that it will work for sure, so if you definitely want to get RX 580 performance, you could always just buy the RX 580. And a leaked design document shows maybe the iPhone 8 with a Touch ID sensor on the back as well as a dual camera setup. 
Sources for all of today's stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description below. Gipadako nimo akonga te. It's Cebuano. I don't know what Cebuano is, but I'm glad to know I make your liver bigger. I, yes, that, that would be a compliment. Um, if you would like to say, or if you want us to say things, hashtag NCIX Yo Dog, send us things to say on here. Hey guys, if you live in Vancouver, come hang out with Riley, Jack, and myself at the Vancouver Community Meetup powered by Twitch this Saturday. It's at Monster Cat HQ and general admission is free and includes a raffle ticket, but you can buy special RSVP tickets for free t-shirts, video games, as well as more raffle tickets for winning other things. And the money goes to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, so that's pretty cool. The event will also be live streamed, so you can check that out if you're not able to make it. Click over here for more information. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for more videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. I'll see you later. I, my ears are bad and I can't hear very well out of them, so I gotta go figure that out. Okay, goodbye.